I'm Vlad, working for two years at Cybo, quite a newbie in the industry. And uh, again, the question, um, the live op strategy at Cybo um, is pretty uh, simple, but it's the same challenging because we can to provide uh, our players with the highly engaged content that they've been asking for. And it's, uh, it's not an easy task to, to do that uh, because you need to know your huge audience, like uh, 150 uh, million monthly players. Uh, and especially when you have three weeks update in cadence, it means that your team updates the game with everything new, with a new destination, with a new character, with new boards, with everything new. And uh, I mean, obviously, you sometimes have bugs, that's naturally. So uh, that's why your support team, uh, they, they need to uh, have um, the, t the flexible tools. Um, in their possession, so they will be able to cater their workflow uh, to update their knowledge base, FAQ, uh, to create bots, automations to deflect tickets. Uh, and uh, we at Cybo also constantly listening our players' audience um, on uh, social media, uh, on different uh, forums, Reddit, Discord. And uh, one of the examples how player support team actually had an impact on the live op strategy that we noticed when our players, uh, they've been looking for one popular character in the knowledge base. They just typed the name of that character a, uh, a dozen of times. I don't know why, they just wanted that character. Uh, we collected the feedback, uh, we uh, delivered that to the live ops team, and they uh, released a successful promo. So that's a kind of, of a collaboration we have. So I was just sticking with that because obviously we've given a high level overview of apps. Let's drill in a little bit more to sort of how this all plays out, what technology, what tools, and how people go about stuff. Vlad, you recently changed the support tool platform. Can you talk about the reasons for doing that and like what do you see in terms of the gains of that in helping this whole live ops uh, collaboration with support uh, underwriting, underwritten by support? Yes, sure. Um, uh, six months ago, we actually uh, switched to uh, HelpShift before we had another uh, help desk tool. And uh, uh, we actually had a lot of reasons, Peter, what, why we wanted to switch to another tool. I have three main ones to share. Um, the first one, I would say, we wanted to uh, get rid of uh, emails. Uh, that's something that uh, Rovio uh, uh, Pascal guy also told about before. Uh, that's uh, the same uh, pain point that we had, because when you force your uh, players to leave your game and uh, open the external email provider to type the uh, to type this reply, that's uh, that's just decreasing your retention. And uh, the second reason uh, I would say that we actually wanted to integrate more uh, automations, bots and AI into our player support uh, journey uh, because we just, yeah, we just wanted to keep up with the times and uh, uh, deflect more tickets, uh, save money, save time. And the third one, naturally, we just wanted to increase our customer satisfaction that we actually did, but yeah, that's the three main reasons. Yeah, and it's, hard. it's been uh, quite a journey so far, but happy you're meeting all those objectives. Yeah, yeah, of course. Uh, that we decreased the percentage of emails uh, as an uh, incoming workload by uh, 10 times, so it's like around 10% of our workload now, it's uh, emails, and having, having done that, we also noticed that we improved our customer satisfaction just only with this one move, uh, and it, uh, it, it just, yeah, it's uh, it significantly increased that we were ha really happy about that. Um, one, on, the, on another hand, we increased the average uh, full resolution time per issue, because when you remove from your agent's workload those simple, easy questions or tasks um, that uh, cover automatically by bots and automations, then um, they have time uh, to solve uh, more complex ones. And it takes that time for them to, to, to chat with our, uh, with our players. And uh, uh, I also noticed that players, they like uh, chat uh, more than emails. So uh, sometimes they're just uh, spamming us with different questions. So uh, that's also 
pretty interesting. And uh, the last thing is that we actually uh, leverage a good automation level from, from the start. It means that right now uh, we are covering um, uh, more than 12% of our workload. It's just the beginning that where we start with. And it means that we save tons of money, tons of time of our agents. Um, so yeah, really happy with that. Uh, the feedback that we collect, it's actually from, uh, uh, first of all, that social media, that's where our player experience team are helping us. Um, that's also the tickets uh, that we have that our uh, player support team is collecting for us. And uh, I usually like reading Reddit uh, forums. So I go there every day and uh, just look through the latest posts to understand what they are playing, are doing. And uh, Discord is the huge ser uh, server that we have. Uh, so they are quite beneficial. It's just, yeah, it, 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 you need to have the time to go and check by yourself, even to understand uh, what the audience are doing over there. Because you, you, you need to be there on that front too.